I was once having a discussion with about 200 people, and I, I posed this question. I said, have you ever felt joy? And almost every hand went up. And then I said, but spiritually, have you ever had the spiritual experience of complete joy? I don't do that anymore because it touched too many people. Uh, too many people uh, immediately broke down and started to cry. They realized that their joy had only been partial. It had been temporal, uh, temporary in its condition. That soon the old problems, the old concerns came back. In Psalms 21, verse 6, it says, You will make him glad with the joy of your presence. Jesus often spoke about the joy of experiencing the presence of God. And yet he also understood that there are times that it may be quite difficult to feel joy because of what is happening in our life at that time. So if you ever experience such a time, find comfort in Jesus' words to his close-knit disciples. He said, I have said these things to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be, and here's that word, complete. Complete joy. Jesus did not describe a joy that comes and goes or one that, that changes with different circumstances. Rather, Jesus describes a joy which is complete an unquenchable joy, which you can experience now and you can experience always. You can, as you recognize that the source of joy is not in situations or circumstances outside of you. Too many people wait for that kind of joy. They wait for something to happen, some exciting day, some birthday, Christmas or something. Now, the joy that is spiritual is within you. It is not dependent upon some event, some person, or anything outside of you. Then you realize that the greatest blessing is knowing the joy of God's holy presence.